Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. My name is Baron Collins Hill. In this week's lesson, we are going to be diving into a big old handful of picks that I've got here and gonna play them for you, see if you can hear the difference. Let's jump right into it. All right, as you can see here, we've got five different picks we're gonna be working with. We have, from thinnest to thickest, we have a Dunlop Tortex 0.6, that's the orange. We have a Dunlop Tortex 0.88, that's the green. We've got a Fender Heavy, which is about a one millimeter. Slightly different material, a little, little shinier and smooth than the slightly matte Tortex picks. Then we've got this Dunlop Prime Tone 1.5 millimeter. That's similar to the Fender Heavy in feeling. And then we also have this Wagon or Wigan, I'm not sure exactly how to say the name, which is also a 1.5. These two are big triangles as compared to your normal guitar shaped picks. And let's go thinnest to thickest here. I'll just play through them, play a little bit of scales, a little bit of chords, and you can hear how they compare. So here is the 0.6 Tortex. Next up, the 0.88 Tortex. After that, we have the Fender Heavy. Sounds like this. Moving on, we have the Dunlop Prime Tone 1.5, big triangle. And last but not least, we have the Wagon, or Wigan, again, apologies on the name. It's got these little holes in it that are either for gripping on easier or they're speed holes to make you pick faster. I'll leave that decision up to you. This one sounds like this. So, as you might be able to tell, there's a little slight difference in sound from each of these. In general, I think of the uh, the thicker you get on the pick, the, the sort of warmer it sounds. Uh, it also feels slightly different. I'll do the, the 0.6 millimeter and the 1.5 millimeter back to back, and you might be able to hear a, a difference a little easier. So this is the 0.6. So really it's a lot of personal preference, what sound you like the best, how it feels in your hand, uh, sort of the comfort level, the, the, the material the pick's made out of. Everything's going to have a slight, um, a slight effect on the sound. I think the biggest effect on the sound is going to be the thickness of the pick. Um, Beyond that, then you get into the pick material and, uh, you know, the, whether it's a big triangle or a regular teardrop shape, things like that. Once again, there's no real value judgment here. It's just what you like the best of. It's going to depend on your instrument as well. Um, so if you've got, you know, an instrument with F holes, it's going to have a different sound with different picks than an instrument with an oval hole. Now, I'm not sponsored by any of these pick companies. I bought all these picks myself over the years. Uh, that said, I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you do order some of the pick samplers I have in the description, uh, I'll get a little cut at no cost to you, thanks to the Amazon affiliate program. And I think, uh, you know, in general, a great uh, use of 5 or $10 is to go to your local music shop or find the pick samplers that I've got in the description and pick them up. You just try out the different picks, see how you like the feel of the different thicknesses and the different materials. Picks can get real expensive. You can pay $30, $35, $50 and more on picks. Uh, but I think, you know, a lot of these Tortexes are under a dollar. And if you spend a couple bucks, you can really get a variety of sounds out of your instrument and really get a sense of what you like the sound of best and what's most comfortable to you. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Lots more lessons over at mandolessons.com. I put out new lessons every week. 
They're always free. That said, there's a couple ways to donate if that is your choosing. See you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.